GMAT Tuesdays! My name is Kevin, and it's Tuesday, and I'm not a good juggler. Uh, <laughs> this, so we're back uh, at Must Know Idioms. What are the idioms that you need to know? And this actually came from a question, um, or a comment, that a student left. And the question was, how do we know when to use amid, amidst, versus among, amongst? And so, that's what we're going to look at. Well, let's simplify things, and we can say right now on the GMAT, you do not want to use amidst, and you don't want to use amongst. Just don't even use them. Those are not going to be correct. Though it's a very uh, outdated, um, overly formal uh, usage, they do mean the same thing, but really no one uses them. So, really the question is amid, amid, is that versus among. Um, and so I have two example sentences here to illustrate this point. Um, and so here's, and the tough thing too is that these have very similar meanings. Um, they kind of mean like uh, mixed in with or around. There's also a second definition for them that is different, but um, it is confusing because the meaning of them is very similar. But what we can say is that amid you use with mass nouns. Um, and among, we use with plurals of count nouns. Okay, so that's simple enough. So if we're looking at these two sentences, actually, let's use purple, because purple's fun. Um, if we're looking at these two sentences, we need to think, am I, do I have a mass noun, or do I have the plural of a count noun? And so we have amid, among, rumor of bankruptcy, see, oh my goodness, who wrote this sentence? The. Someone needs to check these sentences before we film. Amid and among rumor of bankruptcy, the CEO and CFO resigned. And so what we have here is rumor. Rumor is a mass noun, similar to like, um, like talk. You'd say like talk of, um, talk of war or something. And so in this case, we're going to use amid. Amid is correct. Amid rumor of bankruptcy, amid talk of war, um, this is how you want to use admit. Our next sentence, um, you don't need to worry about your speech tomorrow because you will be amid among friends. And so as I said before, count nouns, so things that you can count, nouns that you can count, like friends, and the plural we would use among. And so here we would use among. You don't need to worry about your speech tomorrow because you will be among friends. Excellent! All right, that's it. We'll do more idioms next time. Be excellent to the universe, and I will see you next Tuesday.